is Triana Hickson, and I'm reporting live from Kids First. Today I just arrived at the Disney Junior's X Prize event. Hope I enjoy it. Well, we were inspired to do this event, uh, which is called Blast Off, because we want uh, students all over to learn about all the cool things that are happening in science, technology, engineering, and math. And uh, being connected with this television show is a really cool way to do that. How does it feel to be on this Disney Junior show? It feels so great. I'm actually very honored, especially because one of my childhood friends is the creator of the show, Sasha Palladino. And we used to make films when we were younger, when we were kids. And it's great to see where he's come and that I can actually add some value by being in it. And it's just, you know, it's, it's, it's like we're kids again. Do you think this program should be in all schools? What, uh, Miles from Tomorrowland? Yes, everybody should watch it all day. No, it's good. It's fun. Uh, no, it's, the thing about Miles from Tomorrowland is it has this optimistic view of the future with science. And who, who doesn't love that? How long have you been used to science? And do you like it and do you enjoy it a lot? Wow, that's a really great question. I've liked science since I was a kid. Uh, in fact, I'm uh, old enough to remember when the first thing went into space. It was a Russian satellite called Sputnik. And I thought, wow, one day maybe I could get to do something in connection with space. And I wound up being a film and television producer. Uh, and also I got involved with the X Prize. And I don't know if you or your audience knows what the X Prize is, but we offered a $10 million prize for the first team to build a private spaceship, not a government, a, a private organization. And that happened in 2004. So we have an interest in all things space. We have a competition now about going to the moon, and we're very excited to be here today. Whether or not you choose a career in science and technology, we want you to, be, to respect it and have an appreciation for it. And, uh, Half the humans are women or, and girls, so we want half the scientists and engineers to be women and girls. What inspired you to be a me meteorologist? Uh, I, loved, I loved storms as a kid. It was my favorite thing. When the storm would come through, I'd be fascinated. I'd say, what is that thing? How did it form? Why does it hurt people? And from that point forward, my mom encouraged me. She said, just do it. Just go study it. And so I actually started studying meteorology, storm chased while I was in college, and stuck with it the whole time. What experiences do you need to have to be an astronaut? Wow. First of all, you need to have fun. If you're not having fun, something needs to be recasted. But best of all is a very strong interest and love of STEAM, which is science, technology, engineering, art, and math. Can you give our viewers some advice to be in this career life? Uh, well, I think you always have to remember where you come from. Eat your vegetables, because you need that brain power and, you, and it takes a lot of energy. You work long hours, so you gotta be healthy and make sure that you, you can last. Do you think people will be living on Mars in the future? Wow, yes, absolutely. And the future is now. And it may not just be with NASA. There's commercial space as well. And they have different requirements. And they may require certain skills or a different set of experiences. So keep your eyes open because we have citizen scientists, engineers, and astronauts too. And there's space for all. My name is Triana Hicks and I'm reporting live from Kids First. And today I interviewed a lot of people and it was a pleasure. And I hope I do it again. I hope you liked it. Bye.